Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorite. Today's video is a fun one for me, but one that I have to be careful not to get too chatty in because it's just something that I enjoy talking about my favorite things about each planner. So today is gonna be the planners that have stood out to me this year that I have reviewed. So over the past year, because my channel has been going almost just a year now, in March of 2018, it will be a year. I'm not sure which day in March though, so perhaps I should try to look that up. But over this past year of me having my channel, of all the planners that I have either bought or been sent to review, I'm going to talk about the ones that stand out to me that have made me want to plan in them. And that just means, it doesn't mean they're the best planners I've reviewed. It just means for my life, they're the ones that I got excited about and wanted to plan in. I have many other wonderful planners. And these are just the ones that for my personality and my preference and my time in life um, make me want to plan in them. Okay, in no particular order whatsoever, <laughs> we're going to start with Inkwell Press. And... Um, her Spiral Bound is a favorite for me, even though Inkwell Press now has the Coil Free, what they call the Coil Free. And I will tell you some reasons why I like the Coil Bound still for some particular reasons, but I also do love the Coil Free, and I'll give us a peek at that one. And I should mention, I have video reviews on every single one of these planners. I have playlists for a lot of these companies. So if there's one you see you're interested in, you can definitely find the video on my channel of an in-depth review or about how I used it, because this is just gonna be a really quick run through of my favorites. It's not gonna go in detail reviewing each planner and showing you each part. I love that they're tabbed still, and her bound planner is not. So let's show that, and I have a comparison video between these two. So inside these two, it's the exact same planner but this one is coil free. So you get the tabs in this one. You don't get the tabs in this one. You get to take up half the space on your desk with this one because you can obviously fold it over and this one you have to leave open to be able to see it. You get on this one, the three pocket, which is kind of awesome back here. So there's a pocket here and then there's a really good pocket here and her pockets function really well and then a pocket here and then you get the accordion pocket which holds her sewn journals perfectly and I have one of her sewn journals right here so I will show you if you just need extra note pages the inkwell press sewn journal fits in here perfectly and the planner shuts perfectly with it and still is flat and you can still write in it and everything so I think that pocket and that the journal fits in there is ingenious and I love that. And you don't have any of those pockets with the coil free one and you don't have anywhere to put anything and you obviously can't carry a journal and you also don't have a band to close it. So those are reasons why I might still pick the coil bound over the coil free even though I do love not having a coil there in the middle. And then my very favorite thing about Inkwell Press is her paper at 140 GSM, nothing beats it in her big bound planners, nothing. It's the most luxurious planner paper I've ever felt to write on whatsoever. And so those are my favorite things about Inkwell Press. I'm also a big fan, before we leave that, of her in-between um, monthly planning pages. That is her monthly mission board, her plan and focus, and her three daily habit trackers for the month. So those are my favorite things about Inkwell Press and why I always keep coming back to Inkwell Press. Okay, like I said, these are in no particular order, but I'll try to talk about all my Inkwell Press at once. So Inkwell Press Daily only comes in a coil free, but I really enjoyed using the Inkwell Press Daily this year. It is undated, it is a daily sewn book, it is made of the same 140 GSM beautiful paper and you just have the same format over and over for your days. You, I love the format, love her paper, have just, I love all my time that I spent in her daily. I used it for a couple months and I'm just testing out some other dailies because daily is easy for me to switch in because I don't plan ahead in my daily. 
And so, but I know I will come back to Inkwell Press Daily and I am really excited to see what they do with Inkwell Press Daily next year. I'm excited to see if they make it coil bound next year because I think I would actually like that because daily I only need to see one page at a time and it would take up less space on my table next to me all day. So love the Inkwell Press Daily. Love the setup of the page and her paper. I also love the Inkwell Press Quarterly. The number one book is not up here because I don't want to show the inside because I'm using it for food and fitness tra tracking um, right now. But her quarterly books only come in the horizontal layout, but they look exactly like the big books. They run in the same four color schemes for the year as her big bound planners. They have 120 GSM paper, which is still amazing, but it's not the same 140 that's in the big books because they just can't sew these little books with that extra thick 140 GSM paper. But this paper is still amazing and I love that it comes in this compact design. It is so portable, so easy to use for so many things and it is the exact same planner just put in four quarters of the year so you have four little books and like I said my quarter one is downstairs and being used for my food and fitness tracking. So I love the Inkwell Press quarterly system also. And since we just talked quarterly books, let me show you She Plans uh, quarterly books. These are the only other quarterly notebooks that are similar to Inkwell Press that I know of. These are also a sewn quarterly notebook, except these are seven by nine. And I do have a comparison of these with the Inkwell Press if you want to be able to compare those. I'm also using quarter one of She Plans downstairs just for planning. So I don't have that. Actually, I do have my quarter one. I did bring it up. I'm using her quarter one right now for planning for busy weeks, just as an appendage to my weekly planner in my Erin Condren. Because when this is laid out on my desk, I can see my weekly list like constantly staring at me. Um, instead of it being on a different page in like my daily notebook or something. So I'm kind of liking having my weekly list laid out in front of me and then just my big events highlighted in this. I love the setup of her weekly quarterly books. I love that it's just black and white and she has lots of room for lists every week. And um, let me show you in between and what her monthly looks like. Her monthly is just black and white also. And you have room for monthly lists, monthly monthly goals, memories made. I know that this is sold out on She Plans right now, but she is going to remake them for 2019. And I believe those calendar year ones will be relaunched in September for the 2019 line. So I really do love her quarterly book and I have a comparison with Inkwell if you wanted to see that. So this is another new favorite this year from She Plans. Now, it wouldn't be a favorites video if I didn't include my passion planner. I used this for five months in 2017. And if you followed me, you know how much I loved it and just how um, much I fell in love with this book that I didn't really think that I was going to love as much as I did. I ended up not using the time slots. And if you want to hear all about how I planned in this passion planner, you can go ahead and look on my passion planner playlist. But here's a quick flip through and I am sure that passion planner might be something that I come back to one day. You know, it's in my top five favorite planners that I would rotate back to. So I used the undated classic version, which is the bigger eight and a half by 11. So I definitely am a huge fan of passion planner. And some of these companies I have linked down below. So links and coupons for any companies that I have discounts for are linked down below in my description box. You guys, even though this is from 2017, it's the Emily Lay 2017, um, I could not leave it out of my favorites video, even though I am not using Emily Lay in 2018. And I have talked about how her paper in the 2017, I was not happy with the ghosting. But this was my third year to use Emily Lay in 2017 and I really have loved her planner because it was the first really expensive like designer planner that I bought and so she kind of got me into that planner world online and to this day I still say that Emily Lay has the prettiest covers 
of any other planner company. Her cover alone makes you want to buy her planner. Her O-rings always function perfectly. And I do have Emily Lay linked down below. So when I used Emily Lay, this is what it looked like. And I have several videos about Emily Lay on my channel. And so if you are interested, go ahead and look those up. But Emily Lay will probably always be a favorite because her beautiful covers just constantly call to me. Okay, if you follow me, you know this year I was introduced to the world of the Hobonichis from one of my sweet subscribers who had bought a cousin and who said she wasn't going to use it. And if I would like to review it and use it, she would love to send it to me. And she wouldn't even let me send her payment or anything else back as a gift. So just such a sweet, genuine person. And from so I have done a lot in the Hobonichi. And if <laughs> I journaled mostly in it. And now I'm kind of writing a line a day for journaling. But I also tried out some planning in it. I tried out um, some bigger, not bigger journaling, but longer journaling in it. Um, I planned out some weeks in it. So I've played around with it a lot. And right now I am just using the dailies for filling up with one line a day. Something great that happened or what I want to remember that day. So I have fallen in love with the interesting Hobonichi that is very different from any other planner I've ever used. If you are interested, I do have videos on that. And also it's highlighted in my journaling first quarter update video. Hobonichi Weeks is probably the most amazing, versatile book, I don't know, that I've ever seen. So for the Hobonichi Weeks, I used this Target hairband that I've never used in my hair, so it didn't get all mangled yet. Um, but it holds it together really well if I want to throw it in my purse, and it also holds a pen really well on it. So that's a nice thing there to know about. Hobonichi Weeks comes with two um, page markers, which I think is great. So you can mark your week and your month, or you can mark your notes at the back. I love just how versatile it is. It is your week and then a notes page for that week. I love how versatile the weeks is. You could use this for a meal planner right here, like your meals go down here. And then, um, I was trying to find somewhere that didn't have a lot of writing, but I have filled it out for the year. You could use a meal planner, your meals go down here, and then your grocery list for those meals goes on this side. And it's so small and really lightweight. This is not the Mega. They do offer a week's Mega, which has many more note pages in the back. I don't have the number in my head right now. This comes with, let's see how many note pages, 60 something I'm thinking if I remember right. Yeah, 68. And I believe the Mega is times two from that. So if I'm remembering correctly, here is your note pages right here. And if you don't know about Hobonichi, um, the Tomei River paper does not ever bleed through. It ghosts and it ghosts a lot, but it does not bleed through. So you can even use watercolor. You can use so many different medians on it and it is very thin and very lightweight. And that is a reason why they can fit so many pages into a book and it's very lightweight and thin. Like the cousin, has your monthly views, your weekly views, and your daily views, and they all fit into this one compact A5 book. And that is because of the Tomei River paper. So if you wanna know more about this, um, I have some Hobonichi videos, and then there are so many other um, Hobonichi fans out there that know even so much more than I do. There's some great YouTube videos out there. Okay, so this is the Hobonichi Weeks. And this is only about $22. If you want to get your feet wet into Hobonichi and try out the paper, this would be a great little book because it doesn't cost a lot and you can find some sort of use for it. My sister is even using it for daily gratitude journaling this year. And I love that idea. If I wasn't doing so many other journals this year, some year I may definitely use that idea. She writes a daily gratitude on each day or a blessing or something that stood out to her or how she felt the Lord's hand in her life that day. And then at the end of the week, she can either journal as the week goes on about different events or she can just journal at the end of the week, looking back over her events and see how she felt. I definitely see myself stealing her idea and using this for that um, journaling aspect one year when I'm not keeping up with so many other different journals. But I love the weeks. 
for its price and for its versatility. Okay, if you follow me, you know that I love Erin Condren. Um, since she upgraded her paper this last year to 80 pounds, which equates to about 120 GSM, I have fallen in love with a lot of things about her planner. And one of them just being that her colors flow with the seasons and they change every single month. And that is a big thing to me in my mind. I know it sounds silly, but it's just something that makes me happy. So I have been in the Erin Condren since September of 2017. And now we are just starting March of 2018. So that is how long I've been in the Erin Condren. And I have really enjoyed it. It is my weekly planner. I use the vertical. It stays laid out on my desk. And it stays there at home and laid out on my desk. So it's like my main hub for my weekly plans. And I use the top box for any appointments or must-dos that day or non-negotiable errands. And so if my top box is free, then I know like I can glance at my top box and it can help me really see my day. But if you want to see how I use this, where I put my exercise, my weather... I have whole videos about how I plan in my Erin Condren. So I've really enjoyed my time in there. What are my favorite things about it? Her paper, uh, her colors that flow with the seasons, her just her fonts. I really like this year, her fonts, and um, the design of the page. It just works for me right now in my life. And the colors make me happy, and the paper is good quality. And I really like the big fonts up there at the beginning of every day. I also love the interchangeable covers. I still haven't taken off my Valentine's cover, even though it was several weeks ago. But I need to change that out. I love being able to have the interchangeable covers. And I, it's just fun. It just brings me joy, a lot of things about it. And that is why I'm using it on my desk. Is my desk planner right now. Even though it doesn't have a very functional pocket in the back, I wish it had more note pages. So there are things I definitely wish I could change about it. But right now it's one out as my weekly planner for several months. So going on that same theme of Erin Condren, I just have to say how much I love her horizontal for photo journaling. I started this photo journal in July and of 2017 and then it goes through the entire year of 2018 and I didn't know what a big chore this was going to be you guys when I first started it but I'm just going to flip through while I talk about it the horizontal of the Erin Condren lends itself perfectly to journaling just period even if you don't want to use photos and it lends itself to photo journaling perfectly I personally use the Polaroid zip uh, to print my pictures they have sticky on the back, but I would definitely watch a lot of review videos before you choose the Polaroid Zip because I think I've heard that the HP Sprocket prints better. I don't know how the HP Sprocket app works, but I've also gotten frustrated with the Polaroid app before when trying to size my pictures to half size to cut and fit in these boxes, and hence why I've started doing some bigger pictures also. But I have kept up with this. I write in it every single day so I don't forget. And then I go back and I add the pictures at the end of the week. And I decided I was okay after the beginning with not having a picture per day because that was just really stressful and I didn't want to have a stressful element into my journaling. So I am just adding the pictures when and where I can each week. Like I said, I go back and add those at the end of the week. But I do journal every single day in here at night or I would not remember what happened. I am really happy I'm doing this. I, I got the idea from my sister who got the idea from Jen at Pretty Neat Living. I have several videos on this under my journals playlist if you want to check it out. And it shows my sister's and mine and gives some better instructions to it. But I'm glad I'm doing it, but it is definitely not something I will do every year after this year and a half. In this photo journal, I will definitely take a break, and I don't know when I will start back up photo journaling, but I'm definitely going to take a break from it. Although, I think it's one of my favorite family keepsakes ever, because although I keep up with chat books, and I do have a video on my channel about those, I'm printing my family Instagram uh, out, 
putting my family Instagram series out. I do keep up with those, and that's like our family journal at this point. But this is so much more personal because it's handwritten. And so I think having this year of, or year and a half of this journal is just something I'm really going to be glad I did. I picked the Erin Condren Neutral to do this in. And then I bought her seasonal sticker book, which I really enjoyed adding into here. The one thing I wish I wouldn't have done, I wish I wouldn't have added the seasonal stickers um, until I like get to those pages because some places they blocked maybe where I wanted to put my pictures down here when I blocked off with a long line. But that's my only issue. I went in and put stickers in like before um, I got to those months because I was just so excited to decorate. But I have really enjoyed this Erin Condren uh, for photo journaling. And I would highly recommend if you want to journal or photo journal, her uh, horizontal works perfectly. And people who love to sticker it up know that she gives you extra thick rings to leave room for stickers, which is also great leaving room for all those Polaroid zip pictures. This has plenty of room for me to add as many pictures as I want. And the rings have plenty of room to give it, um, to spread out in there. So that is my Erin Condren photo journal. One of my new favorites as of late is this Ashley Shelley monthly only little calendaring book. Um, there are not a lot of companies that make these. Yes, you can find them at Target, but they're bigger than this. Well, they also have some smaller ones, but the paper is not this quality. And it is um, not just, it's not exactly like this. But I love it because Ashley has quality paper and all this book is, is your 12 months of the year. And in between each month is a two page dot grid spread. So that's it. Like this is February and then you have a two page dot grid. March and then a two page dot grid. April and then a two page dot grid. And it is really good quality paper. And it is lined, which a lot of people like to have in their monthly boxes. It definitely makes me write neater. And so this has kind of been my go-to to lay out my whole year now because it is easier than taking my desk pad down off the wall. I use the Inkwell Press desk pad um, hanging right above my desk as kind of like our main go-to calendaring everything in for the year ahead. But this is just way easier to flip through and constantly write in and change things and add. And so I really love this little monthly book. She Plans also makes a monthly only book, um, but she is sold out of those right now and it is bigger than this. It is a seven by nine one, so if you needed a bigger size. But I cannot believe that other companies like Inkwell Press, who does so many sewn books and does quarterlies, has not started doing a monthly only book. I only wish that every page didn't have her signature colors, which I love her signature colors. It's just I kind of like to bring a different color to every month for every season myself. I haven't gone in and done that everywhere, but I've done it for the first few months. And so if it doesn't always go with that color, like Christmas colors or Thanksgiving colors aren't going to go with aqua and purple. Um, I kind of wish it was just a black and white, um, but that's okay. So I'm really enjoying this Ashley Shelley monthly only small book. It is a great little item that could have so many uses. Now I have to talk about Day Designer just because I am using her right now because they gave me a 2017 to review and I have a full review video on that. She's very similar to Emily Lay and I have comparison videos on that. She's a little bit bigger than Emily Lay in this one and then they have a mini which is a little bit smaller than Emily Lay but this is the bigger flagship Day Designer. I love their covers. They are beautiful. And I do like the layout of their daily page. So I'm just playing with it right now because like I've stated, it's easy for me to change my daily because I just, I make a daily list every day and I do not plan ahead in my daily. So it's easy for me to go and um, play around with it. Now, the only thing is Saturday and Sunday are combined in here and we'll see how that goes. But I will definitely be reporting to you guys on Instagram because I like to try to use products when they fit in with my planning, when it's not forced, and so I can report to you guys. And so far, I like the layout of this page. It has plenty of room for me and my big, messy handwriting. <laughs> um, 
I like how the book is just all black and white. And so you can add your own colors in. It's all gold tabs. And it's a really nice page layout in my opinion. It is good quality paper. And I mean nothing like Inkwell Press and it's not as thick as Erin Condren. Um, but it is good paper that does not do any kind of terrible ghosting. And there is what the monthly spread looks like. All right, so if you're interested, I do have full reviews on this also, and I have a day designer link down there. If you wanna take a look at their site, they just rebuild all their new covers, which are really beautiful for 2019. Um, so for their academic year planners coming out, and then those will be the same covers for their calendar year in 2019. There is no way I can do a standout favorites video without Get to Workbook. I love so much about Get to Workbook. I have planned in her some, but what I have used the Get to Workbook the most is for my YouTube planning, and it has become indispensable to me for that. It has great functioning O-rings that never mess up. And probably I would only say that about Get to Workbook, Emily Lay, and Refresh Planner. I think those are the only O-rings that like never, never, never get stuck and have problems. It has the hardest chipboard cover and it just has a really um, simple and fresh design that you can add anything and everything you want to or add no color at all. So that's her monthly, and this is her weekly spread. I love her action items, her three action items every week. I love how her week is cut off with just the grid at the bottom for lists or whatever you need to use it for. And if you needed to continue your day like you wanted it for dinner or weather, that's easy to do. I love how it's just this light gray and white and back and forth. I love the simplistic font and the look of it and how it's always easy to tell where you are. I love how on each of her months, she gives you a little slogan for each month that's on a perforated page. It's really hard cardstock. You can tear it out and put it on your bulletin board, or you can cut it off and frame it if you have like a favorite one. Some of them are just amazing, and I'm sharing them every month on my Instagram. And on Get to Workbook Instagram, she is sharing all of hers coming out for the 2019 year that um, she already has. So I love her monthly slogans. That's one of my favorite things about her planner too. But I also love her Reflect and Goal Set page at the end of the month. Love her Project Breakdown page, which she also sells this in just a tablet form. Love the Project Breakdown page and her gridded project page for every month. So you get those with every month. If you wanna see a full review on this, I have that. And yeah, right now this is holding my YouTube planning for every week and it has really been a great help to me and it's perfect, it's exactly what I need for that. Another new favorite to me this year was the Refresh Planner. Um, it's by Jalen Designery, but the, it has been renamed to Workspacery and you can find them on Instagram. The Refresh Planner is, is just really well made and really well designed, in my opinion. It's a little bit smaller than your typical seven by nine, so it makes it feel ultra portable in that way. The O-rings function perfectly, and I love her cover choices. They are just really fresh and beautiful. Her planner colors go by quarter. So she has one color for the first quarter, a light blue, and then a pink for your second quarter, a green for your third quarter, and a lavender for your fourth quarter. So you're divided up by quarters. I love the fonts she has chosen all throughout her planner. It's just, the, the name is spot on refresh because it looks fresh. That is the perfect name for it. Here is her horizontal weekly layout and you have appointments on the left, and you have tick off um, diamond little boxes on the right for your to-dos for every day of the week. You have Monday through Wednesday over here, Thursday through Sunday over here. Um, I, I'm grateful for this week I'm focusing on, and I love how her font is just big for the week of, and I just really love the fonts and the look of this planner and the function of it. 
the minute I got this planner, I went and started planning my week in it and my month in it. And I don't do that in all the planners that I get to review because I just honestly loved the look of it and the feel of it. She has really good quality paper and I just wanted to see how it would function with my week planned out in it. So that is a new favorite for this year, the Refresh print Planner. Okay, the next one is the Horatio Printing Company Planner. This planner company is Christian based. There is scripture on every week of this planner. So I'm just letting you know that if that does not interest you. I personally love it. The fonts in this planner, I know I keep saying that, but these are probably my favorite. Just look at them. They are beautiful. This planner is full of inspiration, of praise, of scripture, and it is just really motivating and really beautifully done. There is their monthly layout, and you even have a scripture per month, and then you go to your weekly layout. It is a Sunday start on your weekly layout. You have a scripture per week. I love how just it's so clean and the font is really big up there for your weekly dates. I love how you have a monthly view on your week and the week is circled that you're on. There's just so many things I love about this planner. I especially love um, her goal pages back here, which coordinate to the goal planning in the front. This two page spread is like her map it out goal pages, stage one, stage two, stage three, and this goal page to guide you through and your checkpoints. I just, I love this system. It's clear and it's easy. So there's a lot I love about this planner. I love that this company gives back to, I cannot remember the name of the nonprofit. It is a nonprofit to stop child trafficking and they get back 10% of all their sales. And I love that they stand behind their Christian values and do something like that. It's also a really quality planner with quality paper. So check them out, Horatio Printing Company, if that interests you. Okay, guys, we're getting near the end. This is the Mom on the Go Planner. And it is just a really beautiful planner for someone who loves scrapbook type of look. And I don't know why I am drawn to that, even though I like the cleaner fonts. So I had to highlight this one because it has a lot of beautiful scrapbook paper in it, really motivational quotes, has a lot of extra pages for mom planning, and it also has Christian-based um, quotes. Some might be from the Bible. It has a Bible reading chart. So just to let you know that about this one. There's also, they make a simple planner at this company. The company is in the leafy treetops, but they make a simple planner for someone who is not a mom and doesn't need all the extra mom pages. I love how their fonts and their, well, not their fonts. I love how their scrapbook and colors change based on the season of the year and the month and the holidays. So you guys know that I'm a sucker for that. Um, and so that goes with your weekly pages too. They change and they match every month based on the season. So again, this company is in the leafy treetops and this is the mom on the go planner, but they also make a simple planner that is not for moms. And they also make a Mormon mom planner that is specifically for if you're of the LDS religion, it just has extra pages for that. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about two planners from She Plans. I already showed the She Plans quarterly planners, but this is her weekly planner. You can choose it in either hardbound with an O-ring or a soft cover like this with a spiral. So she has choices. This is her weekly layout. I love that it is just um, not too harsh. There's not much black. Um, I guess the font's not too thick is what I'm saying. And so it just lends itself to be easy on the eyes and makes it completely open to whatever I want to do to the page color wise. And I love how she makes this exact same layout in a um, appointment with times on here. So you can choose the timed one, which is called the appointment one, I believe, or the just the non appointment one, which is um, blank like this in your columns. I like how there's no certain spots in your columns denoted like telling you what you need to write where. 
So it is just, it's completely open to whatever you want to make of it. And uh, her Saturday Sunday is done a little bit differently horizontally here. And her weekly list is the thing that makes her weekly planner really stand out from most of what's on the market right now. Most of what's on the market, you do not have room for this big weekly list on your weekly layout. And this is exactly what I need. And that's why I'm using her quarterly planner right now for my weekly list, which the quarterly has even a bigger room for your weekly list. So she sees the need that there are people who need a bigger weekly list that you don't have all these tasks assigned out to each day already. And so you can have your big weekly list to work off of. And I absolutely love that. And that is why I'm using her quarterly planner right now because she has a big weekly list in there. So I also love this layout. This is what her monthly looks like. It is just, I like her fonts and they're really clean and just there's a little quote at the top right there and you have room for a monthly list. So I really love what She Plans offers. It is a small one woman company and I think she's doing an amazing job. She also makes a really nice daily planner. Now this one, I can show you her hardcover. So here's her hardcover choice and her O-rings, which also work really well, I will say. They have functioned really well for me. Um, I really like her daily page. I'm definitely gonna play around and use this when it comes up. This daily starts in July. Her dailies are for six months so that your book is not too big and unwieldy. I will say that about Day Designer and other people with a 7x9 book doing a daily. If you have a quality paper and a quality cover, your book gets really unwieldy and big when you have a daily for 12 months. And so that's why it's nice to have a daily like this for 6 months. I love how the biggest space in her day is for a daily list and another notes box you could use for a separate list. And then just your time slots, which you could also use for listing if you're not someone who has a lot of appointments. This is a 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And you have just blank spaces, not her telling you what to put on every space. And your day of the week and your date right there. So I have become a new fan of She Plans this year and a big fan of her whole line. She also has a really big printables library called Print and Plan, I think. And she is adding some new stuff to that right now. She's really putting a big focus on that because it is a way you can supplement your planner or it is a way you can print your entire planner for a really cheap price and to put together exactly what you want. So that's a really cool option which offers a lot of flexibility. But I love this daily planner and I can't wait till it starts in July so that I can start using it actually. That's how much I'm excited about the layout of this daily page and just how fresh and open it looks on the white paper and the really light lines. Okay, guys, I think that wraps up my favorites. I have probably left something out, but I tried to gather all my favorites from this whole past year. It has been a roller coaster starting this channel and so much fun. I had no idea that the ride would go this fast. Um, this quickly and I am just so grateful to all of you for all of your support for every video that you have shared um, or given a thumbs up to give it more of a chance to get out there thank you so much for all your support for all of your kind comments and for just creating this really fun community for me I feel like I have like the most fun job and it's not a real job because I'm really hardly making a thing but I get to review all these planners and that is so fun for me. And it's just the perfect hobby for me right now um, as I'm staying home and homeschooling my youngest still. And I absolutely love you guys. Thanks for watching and supporting me. And this is kind of like a happy one year anniversary video pulling out all these faves because it is coming in the month of my one year of creating this channel. All right, guys, happy planning. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.